Welcome to the Nacklers Workshop. I'm Paul. This is hodgepodge number three and I talk about lathes, milling machines, what's on the tray and the new workshop update. Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. We're having very sunny weather here in the south of England at the moment. It's currently our summer. Anyway, let's have a look at what's on the tray this week. So I saw this uh, knife uh, on um, Rob from Xanadu's channel uh, in a video he put out this week. And uh, Rob kindly told me what brand it was. He said he'd had it for 20 odd years and I managed to track one down so hopefully this will last me another 20 years so uh, see it seems pretty good at the, so I've opened a few parcels so that'd be good in a new workshop um, I've got this old Eclipse uh, magnetic base um, it's uh, cheap and cheerful I really didn't pay very much for it um, but I think uh, it, do, it doesn't have the uh, the clamp for a DTI so um, another another little job to be added to the um, to-do list uh, the other thing is I got I did buy this a couple of weeks ago one of the um, magnetic uh, spirit levels I suppose you might call it um, and I, I saw it on Matty's workshop um, he was using it to good effect and I thought it would be useful when I get the lathe and set it up in the workshop. So, uh, yeah, not exactly this week, but um, I did uh, did get that. Um, and I got an old drill stand, um, which is, uh, again, for the workshop. Most of my drills are all floating around in um, tins and uh, all sorts of places. So I'm going to try and track them down. And hopefully that'll be... Uh, a little bit easier when I when I'm in the workshop. Um, got a light bulb. I purchased a and you can see in the photo a um, an angle poise uh, lamp with uh, two magnifiers on it. It's really um, really quite good, and I think it may be useful for uh, my my poor old eyes um, when I'm trying to do something a bit a bit um, uh, network. Well, just a bit fiddly, really. Um, I've ordered some LED light or bulbs for it so that it should um, make it even brighter so I'm quite pleased about that. It does need a, a, a base for it so another one for the to-do list. It's the biggest to-do list in the world I think. Um, so that's about it for what's on the tray so um, let's have a chat about some of the other stuff. So. Um, We've I visited the workshop on Friday uh, and saw the space I'm going to have. You know, uh, there's there's room for the shaping machine, uh, a lathe, a toolbox or two, um, and a small workbench. The guys the guys need to do a bit of rearranging and extend the workbench. So hopefully, I should get in there towards the end of next week. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about it might be a challenge to uh, film in there so if any 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 of you guys have got any advice on portable lighting or you know maybe you've made something yourself or or just something so I can have a consistent light to be able to um, you know make some videos um, yeah I don't want to be I've got enough troubles coping with the GoPro let alone the light as well anyway um, so yeah if you know anything if you've got any advice so please, please let me know uh, I've got a few photos here of the lathe that I got with the um, shaping machine it's the Myford two, three, uh, 2 or 3 or 4 I've not managed to fathom out what, what which one it is um, I've decided that I want something newer, you know, with tighter tolerances. Again, having not turned anything for many years, uh, I really feel, uh, yeah, I'll be more comfortable with something 
just a bit newer to start with you know the Myford may may be okay if if I had lots of recent experience so so the plan is to um, sort out through all these tins another photo of all these tins with lots of bits and bobs and get all the Myford stuff together and then decide what I'm going to do with it I may just sort of uh, park it somewhere and, and come back to it you know uh, in the future and, and have a tinker with it then so yeah jury's out on that one uh, so once once I'm in the workshop and I've got everything sorted uh, I'm going to order a new la lathe uh, the lead time for it is a couple of weeks um, so I can sort of start to have a do some work and and, and get the shaping machine um, sort of uh, in a bit of a better condition it, it it's um, the only slight concern I have with with the shaper is the um, the auto sort of feed because where where the uh, where it slides across the the um, the rods that slide on are a bit uh, a bit worse for wear so and they need quite a bit of uh, cleaning up and um, polishing to to make it slide easily so um, I think I have plenty of time where it was to wait a couple of weeks for the lathe to appear. Um, Oh yes, and on the uh, good old calculator, um, I, I was messing around with it during the week, and um, I found what I think is quite useful functionality. So uh, I'll make a short video next week and, and share that with all with you all. Anyway, well that's about it. Um, sorry, it's uh, not much going on, but um, it, I'm in a bit of a limbo at the moment until I get into the workshop. So as always, stay happy, strong and healthy and cheerio.